Hello, welcome to Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts. I am Chris, or Chrissy if you'd like to call me that. Let's get started on this Premier Puzzle Poncho Yarn. I recommend Premier Puzzle Yarn. You'll need two balls for up through extra large, then the plus sizes, you'll need three balls. But this yarn, I started with this yarn and I could not see my own video. So I am switching to a worsted weight yarn. But if you use, and I don't recommend this, um, it makes a tight, stiff poncho. But this Premier Puzzle yarn is perfect for this poncho. It gives you the flexibility that you need. So you'll need two balls of this. You'll need a J10 six point millimeter crochet hook. I like to use a Susan Bates. So now I am switching just for the video's sake. I am switching to a Red Heart Super Saver in a color that will show up on the video and I'm switching to a K hook. I will not be making the complete poncho. I will just be walking you through the steps. So the first step is we need to chain 81. This is a top down poncho. I'll go off camera and finish that and I'll be back with you in a moment. I have completed 81 chains. 81 chains will make a large poncho. Remember, Premier Puzzle is the premium yarn to use for this poncho. So let me show you how I keep the chain from being twisted when I join in a ring and it's a long chain. I grab hold with the yarn that I hooked with, keeping the hook in working position. I'm holding onto the yarn, then I take my opposite hand and I run the strand, the chain strand, through my fingers, making sure the top two chains or the V at the top is always visible. Just keep running. Now I'll drop and grab. Keep running my f this underneath my thumb so that it stays straight. I'll drop it, grab hold of it again. And there's a little twist there, so I'm making sure it comes, that the loops are at the top. Now I drop. And I have my last chain right here. I'm going to take it and turn it. Now I don't have any twists in my chain. Now I still have my crochet hook in my working hand. I grab hold of the tail and I insert my hook and I join with a slip stitch. Just like that. Now I have a, I have a ring that is not twisted. Now the first step is chain one and single crochet in the joining stitch. Chain three, skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch or that third stitch. Okay, the next step is skip two and then shell in the third chain. And a shell is five double crochets in that same stitch. All right, so we have a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, skip two, and a shell. Now the sequence repeat starts. So the repeat starts right here. So we skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet in the next chain. Chain three, skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet. Skip two chains, one, two, and five double crochets or shell in the next chain. Now this is the repeat. All right. That's looking nice. This is one of my favorite stitch sequences. It's a single crochet, chain three arch, single crochet, shell, 
single crochet, chain three, single crochet, shell, and we complete that all the way around. Let me execute one more sequence. All right, so it's one, two, single crochet, chain three, one, two, single crochet, one, two, one, two, five double crochets. Okay, it's looking just how it is supposed to. Now I'll finish this off camera and I'll come back and I will meet you at this first single crochet where we will join. That sequence, this sequence, is a repeat of eight times for the large. I am at the end of the repeat. This is the beginning. I have one more shell to make. So I will skip two and execute five double crochets in this chain. So I have executed a shell here. I need to join. I'll be skipping these last two chains and joining with a slip stitch in the top of this single crochet. Now I need to slip stitch, starting round two, I need to slip stitch into this middle stitch. So I'll slip stitch in this first chain, slip stitch into this chain, then I'll chain one and single crochet in this chain space. Now I'll be doing something interesting. I'll be executing a shell with ears. Now a shell with ears is this. This is where the repeat starts. The repeat starts with a shell with ears. I'll double crochet in the first double crochet of that next shell, double crochet in the second double crochet of that next shell, then chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet in the third double crochet or the peak or the peak double crochet or the peak stitch of the shell. I will, so double crochet, double crochet, chain three, and then a single crochet. Now I'll chain three again. One, two, three, double crochet in this next double crochet, and double crochet in this next double crochet, and single crochet in this chain three space. So let me go over that again. I made a shell with ears. I know that sounds silly, shell with ears, but it's a shell and it has two ears. So the two double crochets, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and two double crochets, then a single crochet in the chain three space. So let's go over this repeat one more time. We're skipping this single crochet, we're executing a double crochet in the first double crochet of the next shell, a double crochet in the second double crochet of the next shell, then a chain three and a single crochet in the peak stitch or the third double crochet of that shell, then chain three and double crochet, double crochet, another shell with ears is made, and a single crochet. There we go. There we have it. We have two sequences made. Let me make that sequence one more time. So we are skipping this single crochet and we are executing a double crochet in the first double crochet, a double crochet in the second double crochet, a chain three, single crochet in that peak stitch, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet. There's the shell with ears. Now single crochet 
in this chain three space. Let me finish this. Let me go off camera and finish this and I'll be back. So I'm at the end of the round and I need to make one more shell with ears. Let me get that finished and then I'll show you how to join and how to start round three. So I executed, so I executed a double crochet in the first double crochet, a double crochet in the second double crochet, and I chained three. Looks like I need to add another chain there. I chained three, now a single crochet in the peak stitch of that shell. Single chain three, chain three, double crochet, in the next double crochet, double crochet in this last double crochet of that shell. Now, we are at the end of the round, so we will join with a slip stitch in the top of that single crochet. Now we're going to build a shell from here on out, so we will chain three, and this chain three counts as a double crochet. Now we will execute four double crochets in this joining stitch to make the first shell of the round. Four, and five. Okay, so I've just made a beginning shell, and a beginning shell is a chain three and four double crochets in that same stitch. Now I need to chain one, single crochet in the first chain three space, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in that next chain three space, skipping the single crochet. Now chain one, the repeat starts right here at this chain one. After you make the beginning shell, the repeat starts at the chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, skipping that single crochet, chain one, and a shell in this single crochet. And this is the end of that repeat. Now, again, the repeat is chain one, single crochet, and, and we're skipping these double crochets also. Single crochet in the chain three space, chain three, skip the single crochet, and single crochet in the chain three space, chain one, and a shell in this single crochet space, skipping those double crochets that are part of the shells with ears. So the repeat starts right here at the chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain one, and a shell. That's the repeat. But let me go over the repeat one more time. It's a chain one, skip these double crochets, single crochet in the chain three space, chain three, skip the single crochet, single crochet in the chain three space, chain one, and five double crochets, skipping these double crochets, five double crochets in this single crochet. I'll execute that all the way around and meet you. End of round three, I need to execute one more chain three, single crochet, in that chain three space, chain one, and slip stitch in the third chain, one, two, three, of that beginning shell. Now I'm going to chain three, which will count as a double crochet. This is the beginning of round four. That counts as a double crochet, and I'll double crochet in the next double crochet. So there we have two double crochets. Now we begin the shell with ears and that's a chain three, single crochet in that middle or peak stitch, chain three, 
double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in that last double crochet, and we executed a beginning shells with ears, and that first chain three counts as a double crochet. Now it's chain one, single crochet in that chain three space, chain one, and skip this and execute a shell with ears. single crochet, shell with chain three, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, single crochet in that chain three space, chain one, and a shell with ears. So the repeat starts right here. The chain one, single crochet in the chain three space, chain one, and a shell with ears. So that's the repeat. Chain one, single crochet, shell with ears. I'll go on around and meet you at the join. Okay, so I'm at the end of round four. I need to execute a chain one and slip stitch in that third chain of that beginning shells with ears. So there's the slip stitch. Now I need to walk my hook or my yarn to that chain three space. So I'm going to slip stitch in the next double crochet, slip stitch into this chain three space, chain one, execute a single crochet in that chain three space, and then chain four. Instead of chain three, instead of a chain three, we chain four, single crochet in that chain three space, now we're going to chain two and execute a shell in this single crochet. Chain two, single crochet in the chain three space, chain four, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and double crochet five times to make a shell. Chain two and single crochet. All right, let's talk about where the repeat is. The repeat for the large to extra large is eight times and the repeat starts with chain two, shell, chain two, single crochet, chain four, single crochet. This is the repeat. It starts at the chain two and it ends at the single crochet. And you execute this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end so of the round. At the end of round five, you can see the Lace stitches are starting to show up. It looks really nice. So I need to join with a slip stitch to the beginning. Single crochet. Now I need to slip stitch into this chain four space. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch one time into that first chain and then into that second chain because I want that single crochet that I'm going to build and crochet right now to be at the center of that chain three space or chain four space. So now I will chain two and shell with ears in this next shell. So we're skipping the single crochet in the chain. So we're executing a shell with ears. So that's a double crochet, double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, a double crochet, double crochet. Now chain two, 
whoops, having trouble with that chain two, and single crochet in the chain four space. Chain two, and a shell with ears. All right, we have two shells with ears already made. As we're adding the extra chains, this will start to round out and make a beautiful neckline. The repeat is shell with ears, chain two, single crochet, chain two. And we execute that eight more times all the way around to the other to the end and I'll meet you at the end of the round and we'll begin round seven. I'm at the end of round six. I need to finish my shell with ears by executing two double crochets in the last two double crochets here. One, whoops. Now chain two and join with a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. See, this is the beginning single crochet. We skip all of this, join with a slip stitch. Now we're going to make a beginning shell. And the beginning shell is chain three, and four double crochets in that joining stitch. Okay, so we're finishing the beginning shell. Now we'll be executing a chain three. We were executing a chain two. We're executing a chain three, skipping those double crochets, single crochet in the chain three space, chain four, single crochet in the next chain three space, skipping that single crochet, chain three, and a shell in this single crochet, skipping these double crochets. Now, let's look at this repeat. So the repeat is we executed a beginning shell and then the repeat starts right here at the chain three. So after the beginning shell, it's chain three, single crochet in the chain three space, chain four, single crochet, chain three, and a shell. So there is a chain three space before and after each shell and a chain four space right here. And we will execute that repeat all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round and we'll move on to round eight. So we're at the end of round seven. We'll be moving on to round eight and round eight is the beginning of the chain four arch rounds. So we join with a slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain three. Chain one and single crochet in that joining stitch. Now we're going to place a marker here because we need to keep track of where we started. Now we will chain four and single crochet in the fifth chain, excuse me, and we will single crochet in the fifth double crochet of that shell. Now we will chain four again single crochet in that next single crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next single crochet, skipping those chain spaces, chain four, lost my yarn, and single crochet in the first double crochet of the shell, chain four, single crochet in the fifth double crochet of the shell. All right, so the repeat starts right here. Chain four, single crochet in the single crochet, previous single crochet, chain four, 
single crochet in the previous single crochet, chain four, single crochet in that double crochet, chain four, single crochet in that fifth double crochet, and that is the repeat. Let's do that one more time. Chain four, single crochet in the single crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain four, single crochet in the first double crochet of that previous shell, chain four, and single crochet in the fifth double crochet of that previous shell. Now we'll execute that, we'll continue that on around. You can see the arch rows are beginning. We'll do several rounds of arch rows. Let me get back to the beginning and join, and then we'll I'll show you how to continue the arch rows. So I'm at the end of the round. I need to execute one more chain four and join with a slip stitch to the beginning of that first single crochet. Now we should have 36. We need a multiple of three chain four arches or chain four spaces. And the next round is very simple. The next few rounds are very simple. I'll show you how that works. You need to slip stitch into this chain four space. This is round nine and I slip stitch into the first two chains. You can do that if you want. You don't have to, but I like to do that. Then chain one, single crochet in that arch, chain four, single crochet in the next arch. I'm going to stop and put the marker in that first single crochet. So the, then the repeat is chain four, single crochet in the next arch, chain four, single crochet in the next arch, chain four, single crochet in the next arch, and you get the picture all the way around. You, single you chain four and single crochet in the next arch. I'll execute all the way around and I'll meet you at the end and we'll yeah, talk about the end it. of the round. I need one more chain four. And I'll join with a slip stitch. Move my marker. Now, slip stitch in the first chain. And in the second chain, This round is a repeat of round nine. So round 10 is chain one, single crochet in the arch. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next arch or chain four space. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next. And we do that on a round. We execute this sequence I really need to get that in there before I lose my first stitch. We execute these rounds through round 11. Let me get to the end of round 11 and then I'll show you what is next. Remember, you need a multiple of three chain four spaces. So let's get to the round 11. So very simple, when you hit the join, you join with a slip stitch, slip stitch two times or one time in the chain four space. Chain one, single crochet in that chain four space or arch. Chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet all the way around. Each round nine through 11 is exactly the same. Let me get to the end of round 11 and we'll discuss what's round next. 11. I need to execute one more chain four and join with a slip stitch in the beginning, single crochet.
Now we will slip stitch one, two, and chain three and execute a beginning shell. So four double crochets in this chain four space. begins right here. We will chain two, single crochet in the next chain four space. So then the repeat starts right here. Chain two, single crochet in this next chain four space. Chain four, chain three, excuse me, one, two, three, single crochet. in the chain four space, then chain two and shell in the next chain four space. Now this is the, that's the end of this repeat. And I'll go over this repeat again after I finish this shell. And remember the shell is five double crochets. We have four, I need to make one more. Okay, so here's the repeat again. Chain two, single crochet in the next chain four space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain four space, chain two, and a shell in the next chain four space. So I will finish this all the way around and meet you at the beginning of the round. And then the next round will be something totally different. We, we will build and fan these shells out. They will build out and make a fan. All right, I'll meet okay, you at the end. So the repeat ends on a shell, but we still have a few unworked arches. So that's easy. Chain two, single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the last chain four arch, chain two, and join with a slip stitch in the third chain of that beginning, chain three. So we'll execute the beginning chain one fan, which is chain four, and double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet in this last double crochet. Now we chain two and single crochet in that chain three space. Chain two and execute a chain one fan here. So that is double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet in that final double crochet, and we have a chain one fan. And this is what the beginning of this round looks like. So the repeat starts at the chain two. Right here's where the repeat starts, chain two, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and then a chain one fan. And we will continue and execute this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round and I'll show you what's so next. at the end of this chain one fan round. So we execute a chain two and we slip stitch in the third chain of that chain four. And so this next round is all chain two fans. So I need to execute a beginning chain two fan, which is chain five, two, three, four, five, 
and double crochet in the top of the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the top of the next double crochet, whoops, that's a single crochet, there we go, chain two, double crochet in this double crochet, Keep missing my loop there. Chain two, double crochet in this last double crochet. Now there are no chains between the chain two fans, so we just immediately go into another chain two fan. So execute a double crochet in the first double crochet of the next chain one fan. Chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in this last double crochet. Now, there isn't that nice? There, remember, there are no chain spaces between the chain two fans. So this is the sequence we repeat all the way around. And let me get to the end of the round and I'll meet you. But remember, there is no chain space. We just immediately go back, go, we just immediately go into the next chain two fan. Let me get this finished and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so we are at the end of the round and just as before, there is no chain. So I'm going to join into the third chain of that beginning, chain five. Now I will chain two, but this does not count as a stitch. And I will double crochet in that joining stitch. So remember that chain two does not count as a stitch. Now I execute a double crochet in this chain and the next chain and put that double crochet directly in the chain. Don't put it underneath the chain. All right, now a double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in this chain Double crochet in this next chain. Double crochet in the double crochet. Double crochet in this chain. Double crochet in this chain. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet in this chain. Double crochet in this chain and do not double crochet in this last double crochet. So we should have 12 double crochets. Remember, this chain two does not count. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve double crochets. So then we repeat that sequence in each fan around. So double crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet in each chain and in each double crochet of the fan, except we leave this last double crochet unworked. I'll execute that all the way around and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, we are at the end of the round and as you can see, we have these chain two fans and now we have a round of double crochet stitches. Okay, so I will join with a slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet bypassing the chain two. Then slip stitch in the next stitch two times. Chain one, single crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two, and skip three stitches. One, two, three. One, two, three. And shell 
in the next stitch. So that shell will be right above that double crochet. Chain two. Skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet. Chain five. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next. And then the repeat starts over and the repeat is chain two, skip three stitches, and shell in this fourth or the next after you've skipped. And look, it is directly above this middle double crochet. Okay, so we have chain two, skip three, and a shell. Chain two, skip three, and a single crochet. Chain five, skip three, and a single crochet. Chain two, skip three, and a shell. So chain two, skip three, one, two, three, single crochet. Now chain five, skip three, and a single crochet. All right, so that's how this round goes. And I'll meet you at the end of the round and we'll so see you at the end of this round. This is the end of round 16. We should have 12 shells. I've ended with a chain five. That's my last sequence on this round. And then I join with a slip stitch to the beginning of the first single crochet. Then I slip stitch in the next two chains. One, two, and I slip stitch into this first double crochet of this previous shell and I execute a beginning chain one fan. So that's one, two, three, four. This counts as a double crochet chain one, then double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in this next double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in this last double crochet, then chain two, and single crochet in this chain five space. Chain two, skip this single crochet and execute a chain one fan in this next shell. So that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, in the last. Chain two, and single crochet in the chain five space. Okay, let's look at this. So we're beginning the chain one fan sequence. This fan sequence is going to be repeated 
So this, these are the chain one fans with the chain two and the single crochet into the chain five. So we execute that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the round and I'll show I'm you what's I'm at the end of round 17. I need to chain two and join with a slip stitch in the third chain, one, two, three, of the beginning chain four of that beginning chain one fan. And now you can see we have a sequence of chain one fans and chain two fans and a sequence of double crochets and now we're heading back into the chain one chain two fans so now I need to build a ch beginning chain two fan so I will chain five the chain five counts as a double crochet chain two so I'll double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in this next double crochet chain two double crochet in this next double crochet chain two oops that's a chain one chain two and double crochet in this last double crochet now there are no chain spaces between each of the chain two fans, just as before. So we skip all of this and just immediately double crochet in the next double crochet of that chain one fan. Chain two and then continue in the pattern just as before. So let me finish this chain two fan And we are at that last double crochet, so I will not execute a chain past that double crochet. And I'll just immediately go into the next chain two fan right here. Then I skip all of these stitches in a chain two fan. I'll execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the at end, end of, the of round. round 18. I've executed that last chain two fan and I need to join in the third chain. I'm skipping all of this. One, two, three. In that third chain of the beginning, chain two fan. And now I'm at the end of that round. I'm ready to proceed to round 19. Round 19 is a repeat of round 15. Round 15 is you build up chain two and you double crochet in each double crochet so you make a double crochet in that joining stitch double crochet in this chain first chain double crochet in the next chain double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next chain double crochet in the next chain and just as in round 15 we double crochet in each stitch of the chain two fan except for the last double crochet do not double crochet in this last double crochet Need a count of 12 double crochets in each chain two fan so execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of round okay, we are at 19. the end of round 18 we repeated round 15 so we join with a slip stitch bypassing this chain two into the top of this double crochet slip stitch two more times one Two. We are on round 20 now. Slip stitch two times, chain one, and single crochet in the next stitch. Now we chain two. Now we skip three. One, two, three, and shell in the next stitch. And just as before, this is a repeat of round 16.
and I'm going to execute round 20 all the way around and meet at you the end of round 20. I have executed my last shell. I need to chain two and join to the top of that single crochet. Let me go ahead and join and get you started really quick. Slip stitch to this single crochet. Then I need to walk my yarn to that first double crochet. So I slip stitch two times. So slip stitch into this double crochet and we will execute a beginning chain one fan. And a beginning chain one fan is chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one, then double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, just as before, double crochet in the next, oops, that's a single crochet, double crochet in the next, double crochet, chain, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and continue on around in the pattern. I'll and meet you in round 21. I've executed the chain one fans single crochet and a chain five space, chain two, and I'm going to join to the third, one, two, three, third chain of the beginning, and chain one, double fan. crochet, chain one. Now just as before, we will build up and execute a chain two fan for round 22. One, two, three, four, five. Five chains acts as a double crochet, chain two. Now double crochet, in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet, in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet, in the next double crochet. And you remember how we did this around, we execute a chain two, double crochet, and then this is the last double crochet, we skip all of this and then begin the chain two fan in the next fan. So this, after we, let me finish that and get started on that second chain two fan for you. Very simple. Whoops. Double crochet. Now, no chains, just a double crochet in the next chain one fan in the first double crochet of that next chain one fan, chain two, and continue on around. I'll meet you at the end of round 22. I'm at the end of round 22, I've executed my last chain two fan, and I'm kind of excited because we're going to do something different now. One, two, three, slip stitch in that third chain. Chain one, and single crochet in the joining stitch. Okay, so single crochet in that joining stitch. Now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And single crochet in this double crochet. One, two, three, four. Chain four again, single crochet in the next double crochet. This is a very simple round. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. And single crochet in the next double crochet. We will execute that. We are starting to build chain four arch rows again. We will have a sequence of those. We are executing those only in the double crochet. We are single, so we will single crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the round. When we get to the end of this round, you should have 60 chain four or arch rows. Okay, we are at the end of the chain four arch rows. I need to make one more chain four arch row. Those last two double crochets butt up against each other. The last double crochet and the first double crochet of the chain two fans, like sit right next to each other, but you still need a single crochet in that last double crochet and a chain four. Let me do that and then I'll show you how to join. One, two, three, four. So that is the end of this round. 23, 
Now we're moving on to round 24. Round 24 is slip stitch into the chain four space. I like to go into the chain. Chain one, single crochet, chain four. We're beginning a round, a few rounds of arch rows. Just like that, we went straight from the chain two fans into arch rows. Let me do one more. Chain four, skip the single crochet, and single crochet in that chain four space. Remember to place a marker in your first single crochet. They just, those first single crochets in these arch and chain four rounds tend to get lost. Execute that all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round 24. I'm at the end of round 24. I have one more chain four arch to make. And I will join in that first single crochet and then 25 and 26 will be a repeat of round 24. So let me go over the repeat. We'll move the marker. I'll go over it quickly. So we need to slip stitch in the first chain, slip stitch in the second chain, and then chain one and single crochet. Now it's chain, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet all the way around until we get to the first single crochet where the marker should be. There's, this is where I wanna put the marker until we get to the marker and then we join with a slip stitch. Do that for round 25 and 26, and then I'll meet you at the end of round 26, and we'll proceed on to round 27. At the end of round 26, we'll proceed on to round 27 after I finish, but I wanted to fan this out a little bit so that you could see there's our last uh, fan sequence. We had three of those. This one does not have the double crochet round, but we went immediately into the chain four or arch rows. We're at the end of round 26. I need to make one more chain four and join to the single crochet. Okay, join with a slip stitch to that beginning single crochet. Now we slip stitch to the second, into the second chain, so just as before, slip stitch in the first chain, slip stitch in the second chain, chain one, and single crochet in this same chain four space. All right, now we chain three, and we single crochet in the next chain four space, then chain two, and treble V. And a treble V is yarn over twice, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. That's a treble. Then chain two and then treble in this same space again. So the treble is yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and there's a treble V. Now next, we chain two. Now the, the repeat sequence starts right here. And the repeat sequence is single crochet in the next chain four, chain three, single crochet in the next chain four. Let's look at that. We stopped right here at this treble V. The repeat starts with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Then it's chain two, treble V. Chain two, treble, 
in that same stitch and then we end the repeat with a chain two. So let's go over the beginning. The begin so I put a marker in the first single crochet. I had slip stitched into the first two chains built up by chaining one and then single crocheted in that arch row or that chain four space. Then I chained three, single crocheted in the next arch, chain two, and then a treble V. Then chain two and the repeat starts right here at this single crochet. So it's single crochet, chain three, chain two, treble V, and then a chain two. And we execute that all the way around until we get to the end of the round. And I'll meet you at the end at of the, the end round. of round 27. You can see I have a treble V, chain two, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two, treble V. And at the beginning, I started with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two, and treble V. So we're getting ready to join. If you have executed that sequence that we I showed you just a moment ago all the way around. This is where you should be. You should be ending with a chain two, a treble V, and a chain two, and then joining with a slip stitch to the beginning, single crochet. There we go. We will slip stitch into the chain three space chain one, and then the repeat starts right here. We single crochet in that chain three space, chain two, and then, and then a treble fan in the chain two space of the previous treble V. And a treble fan is treble, chain one, treble, chain one, treble, chain two, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and a three treble fan in the chain two space. So this repeat is very simple, very easy. It begins with a single crochet. Let me put my marker there so I don't lose my spot. The repeat starts with a single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and we're skipping this chain space and execute a treble fan in the top of the treble V, chain two, and that's the end of the repeat because then we start all over again and the repeat begins with a single crochet, chain two, and a three treble fan in the top of this V and a chain two. So we execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. We are at the end of round 28. I have executed my last treble three fan and chain two. I need to join with a slip stitch, but I want you to see how things are looking. We have the treble three fan in the treble V all the way around. It's looking very lacy. Now I've executed the chain, I have already executed the chain two, the treble three fan. This is the last one. So the chain two is the end of this repeat. So we join with a slip stitch in this joining stitch. I'm going to remove the marker. Now I need to execute a beginning treble V. And a beginning treble V is chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a treble in that joining stitch. So the joining stitch holds a beginning treble V. And this is a beginning treble V. Next we will chain two and drop over to this chain one space and single crochet. Now chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space of that treble fan. So there's a beginning chain V, chain two, 
single crochet in that chain one space of the treble fan, chain three, single crochet in the chain one space of that treble fan, then chain two. Now the repeat starts right here. The repeat is a treble V in this single crochet, chain two, another treble in that same single crochet. So we've made that treble V in the single crochet. Now we will chain two, skipping all of the chains and stitches underneath. We drop over to this treble three fan and we execute a single crochet. Chain three, and single crochet in the other chain one space. So the repeat is treble V fan, chain two, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two. So that is the repeat. We execute all the way around. Treble V, chain two, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two. So we're working in the single crochet and we're working in the treble fan. All other chains will be skipped. So let's continue that on around and I'll meet you at the end of round 29. We executed single crochets and chain three spaces in that treble three fan. We started out with a beginning treble V, which was six chains, which made which was six chains, which represented a treble and a chain two. So that's our beginning, treble V. So now we're going to slip stitch. I've executed one last single crochet. Let me go over the repeat that ha happened with this stitch. So the repeat happened with chain two, treble V, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space of the treble three fan, chain three, single crochet, chain two, then it was a treble V. So now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the one, two, three, fourth chain of that beginning treble V. Now we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space and we're going to build up. We don't need to slip stitch into the chain, but we're going to build up and execute a beginning treble three fan. So beginning treble three fan is chain five, one, two, three, four, five, which represents a treble, chain one. Now a treble, chain one, treble, now chain two, and single crochet in that chain three space. We skip all other stitches and chains underneath. Now chain two, skip all of these and then execute a treble three fan in the top of the treble V. Chain one, treble, Chain one and treble. And that's a treble three fan. So you know how this sequence works. It's the same as round 28, which was single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, treble three fan, chain two, single crochet in the chain three space. And we execute that all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end of round 30. And I'm at the end of round 30. I have a beginning treble three fan, chain two, single crochet, beginning treble three fan. And you can see now the position of the treble three fan has changed. It was the treble three fan is alternating positions. All right, so now we are going to join with a slip stitch. I've already executed my last treble three fan, 
chain two, single crochet in that chain three space, chain two, I'm going to slip stitch in the fourth chain because the four chains represent a treble stitch. One, two, three, four. slip stitch and that looks exactly like a treble three fan. Now we are on to round 31. So we slip stitch into the first chain of this previous chain three. You can go under if you'd like. Chain one and single crochet in that same chain one space, chain three, skip the treble, chain three, skip the treble and single crochet in that next chain one space. So we have a chain three. Now we will execute. And as you can see, we have a chain three space, single crochet, single crochet, chain three space in this treble fan and you will see that we are going to have a repeat. We will have a repeat of round 27 and round 27 was chain two and a treble V and a treble V is treble, chain two, treble, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space of that previous treble fan, treble three fan, then chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space. So there we have a chain two, treble V, chain two, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So you guessed it, it's chain two, and a treble V in the next single crochet. And we repeat this sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so we are at the end of round 31. I've been executing treble V's in the previous single crochets. We've been executing a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the previous treble three fan and now I am at the end. I've executed my last treble V. I need to chain two and join with a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. Now we're going to switch the round 32 up just a little bit. We will no longer be executing treble three fans we will be executing treble five fans. So we need to slip stitch into the first chain, then just go ahead and chain, then go ahead and chain one and single crochet in this chain three space, chain two and execute a treble fan in the previous treble V. So a treble fan is treble, chain one, treble, chain one, whoops, treble, that's three so far, chain one, treble, chain one, we have four, one, two, three, four, and a chain one, then this last treble. This makes a treble five fan, or just a treble fan. And that looks nice. And now, you guessed it, chain two and single crochet in the next chain three space. Here's the chain three space. That's at the top of that treble three fan. Now chain two and a five treble fan in the top of that treble V. So chain one, treble stitch, chain one, treble stitch, chain one, treble stitch, 
treble stitch, chain one, last treble. And there we have the two treble fans, a chain two, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and a treble fan, and you guessed it, the next stitch is chain two, and a single crochet in the chain three space. So let's execute that all the way around. It's fairly easy to remember, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. End of round 32. And I've just finished this last treble fan, treble five fan. I've chained two. I need to join with a slip stitch to this beginning single crochet. Now we're 33 is a treble V round. Okay, so we'll make a beginning treble V, which is chain six, one, two, three, four. The four chains represent a treble. Now the chain two, one, two. So that's six chains. Now we execute a treble in the joining stitch. So we have our beginning treble V, chain two, we will be skipping the first chain one space of the treble five fan and single crocheting in the second chain one. So we skip all of those stitches, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, skip everything right here, chain two, and treble V in the single crochet. chain two, and treble V. Now, just as before, we will chain two, skip this chain one space, go to the second chain one space, and execute a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain two, skip these stitches and chain space and execute a treble V in this, in the next single crochet. chain two, and then we execute this same sequence, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two, treble V, all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of round 33, and we will get started on round 34. We are at the end of round 33. We have started with a beginning treble V, then executed the single crochet, chain three, single crochet, at the top of this treble fan, and then chain two and a treble V. Now we are back around. We've executed a single crochet, chain three, single crochet at the top of this last treble fan, chained two, and now I'm going to execute a slip stitch, one, two, three, four, in the fourth chain of the beginning treble V. Now we are going to slip stitch into this chain just under the chain. We need to make a beginning treble fan. So a beginning treble fan is chain five, one, two, three, four. That four chains, these four chains represent the treble. Chain one represents the chain one space. So we have a treble and a chain one space. Now we need to execute a treble. This is the beginning, treble fan. Chain one, treble. We have three trebles now. Chain one, treble. This is our fourth treble. Chain one, and this is our fifth treble.
All right, there we have a beginning treble fan. Now we execute a chain two, and you guessed it, we single crochet in the chain three space. Chain two, and execute a treble five treble fan in this V. This repeat is so easy to remember. Let me get this five treble fan made. There we have a five treble fan, so you guessed it, chain two, and single crochet in this chain three space that is at the top of this five treble fan. Let's execute that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the round, and we will begin round 35. We are at the end of round 34. We now have two rounds of treble five fans. Just finished this treble five fan and chained two, and I need to join to the fourth chain of this beginning, chain five. One, two, three, four, fourth chain. Now I need to walk my yarn and my hook to this chain one space, this second chain one space. So I will slip stitch in the chain one, slip stitch in the double crochet, or treble, that's not a double crochet, that's a treble, and then slip stitch into this chain one space, chain one, and single crochet in this chain one space, chain three, and single crochet in the next chain one space. Just as we did the previous round, you can see the repeat that is starting to happen. So now we'll chain two and treble V right here in this single crochet. So chain two and treble V. Chain two. That was a treble, and this is a chain two and a treble. Chain two, skip this chain one space and single crochet in this chain one space, chain three, and single crochet in the next chain one space, chain two, and treble V in the next single crochet, chain two, skip this chain one space and single crochet in this chain one space, chain three and single crochet and repeat that easy sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this round. We are at the end of round 35 and we'll be moving on to the last round which is round 36 and round 36 is a repeat of round 32. So I've executed a treble V, chain two, and I need to join to the beginning single crochet. Now I need to slip stitch into this chain three space, chain one, and single crochet, chain two, and a five treble fan right here in this V. After this round, we will work on the neckline. Neckline is optional, but I do recommend adding some ribbing on the neckline. There's four, I need one more, so another chain one, another treble, chain two. I think you probably know this pattern by now. Then single crochet in the chain three space. Then chain two and another five 
treble shell right here. So let's execute that all the way around and I will meet you at the end. Finishing the last round on the poncho and doesn't the bottom of this poncho look beautiful? It is so much nicer in the puzzle yarn. You have your color gradations. Uh, it looks nice in a solid color. As you can see, the definition of the stitch is a little bit better, but let me go ahead and join. I've executed my last five double crochet shell, chained two, and now I need to join with a slip stitch to this single crochet. And end off. I don't have my scissors. We'll imagine that I cut that yarn and then just pulled that, then weave in my ends. This is such a beautiful poncho. Now let's move on to the neckline. Now the neckline is beautiful. I love the stitching on this neckline. I call this the Overbrook stitching. There are quite a few designs I have that have this at the neckline. You don't have to add a neckline. This is just fine, but if you would like to add the neckline, you start by making a slip knot and putting that slip knot on your hook. Now it doesn't matter where you join this will be the tail. This is my working yarn. So I hold, this is my tail. This is my working yarn. So I hold the working yarn and I slip into a stitch with the loop already on the hook, pull up a loop and then make a single crochet. And that's the first single crochet made. That's how you attach with a single crochet. All right, so now I'm going to proceed to single crochet around the neckline. I need 74 single crochet stitches. So I'll press, and I like to, I don't really want to jump down in there and open up that hole. So I went ahead and put that single crochet in the chain I try to make it so that my single crochet isn't just in supported by one strand, that it is supported by more than one strand. So I would go down into that area right there. So you don't need to watch me single crochet all the way around the neckline. And I'm not sure that I could count and get 74, but I will crochet around this neckline and meet you at the end of the round. And I'll show you how to join and start executing the front post, back post, half double crochets. I have executed 74 single crochets all the way around the neckline. Now, if you only have 72, that is fine. You need an even number. If you have 76, that is fine, but this neckline will not work the way I have it written if you have an odd number of stitches. So I need to join to this very first single crochet and then chain two. This will count as a stitch. It will um, recess back and act as a back post half double crochet. So now I need to execute a front half, a front post half double crochet around this single crochet stitch. So front post is yarn over, go in th through the front, come around from the back and come back to the front yarn over, pull the yarn through, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now you're going to do a back post at the next stitch. So you come in from the back, around the front to the back, yarn over, pull through to the back, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do that again. This next one is a front post. Go in from the front, go to the back, come back out the front, yarn over, pull through all three. And we have the beginnings of a ribbed neckline. Let me do a couple more for you. The next one, this was a front one. So the next one is a back post. So go in from the back, around the front post, to the back, yarn over, pull through to the back, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do a front post again. So it's yarn over in the front, around the back, back to the front, yarn over, 
three loops on the hook, pull through all three. Now let's execute this all the way around and I will meet you at the so end I've of the round. So I've executed the last front post half double crochet and this chain two we join to the top of the chain two and remember it counts as a mock back post half double crochet. And so then to make the second round you can do three rounds if you'd like, but the second round you chain two. This does count as a stitch. And then you start executing front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets all the way around. This is a type of ribbing that you can use in crochet. It's not as stretchy as knit ribbing would be, but it does look like ribbing a little bit. Let me make a few more stitches so that you can see the effect. Front post, back post, front post, and back post. There you go. And it kind of curls in. It looks really nice. All right, I'll meet you at the end of the round and then we'll and then we will be finished with this round puzzle punch. So we are at the end of the second round of front post back post stitches. Doesn't this look nice? You can add a third round if you'd like. I'm not going to. I don't recommend that, but you can if you'd like. I need to join to the second chain of that beginning chain two and end off and we are finished. You have completed a round puzzle poncho if you have stuck with me to the end. It was so good to have you on my side of the mountain. I hope you'll come again soon. I hope, and I hope you will check out the rest of my YouTube channel. It would be such a pleasure to have you visiting with me on my side of the mountain.